growing up near the river, you know, we wanted to be able to swim in it and play in it and not have it be so dirty and disgusting. An algae crisis threatening our treasure coast. A cycle of despair and disgust amidst promises made and broken. Billions of gallons of water are rushing from Lake Okeechobee to our coastline. How much pollution is too much? How much danger is too much? How much before this will stop? You could see the, the bright green algae and the, the smell was terrible. You could see dead fish. It was clogging up marinas. It was forming in places. And it was really sad. You know, that's where we would, that's where we had our most wonderful memories. And then you see it dying in front of us. River kids in our area, they're young people that care about not having lost summers, that care about not being poisoned by the water that they pull a fish out of. Just being able to be kids that get to enjoy the environment around them. 10 years ago, my older sister and her best friend founded River Kids. I think I was in fourth grade, so 11. So we were really young and growing up in Stewart and growing up in this like biologically diverse estuary. They were very passionate about their local environment, just being that their parents, you know, us, were boaters and um, always outside. We were all aware the river wasn't looking that great as time went on, you know, from, 11, from 2011 to 2012. They saw the slow degradation of the river and they knew there were adults fighting for that. There was an article in the newspaper about the need for more youth and the fight for clean water for our river. And they wanted to make a difference and make sure that we had clean water and the animals that lived in it were most important to them. We wanted to be able to swim in it and play in it and not have it be so dirty and disgusting. And seeing the river be destroyed in front of our eyes was devastating. I mean, I remember there were times before COVID when we had to wear masks around the river. Naya and I knew, and really a lot of kids in the community, we knew that we needed to make a difference and we knew that this was pressing. I organized a protest and a couple more events, um, raising awareness, and, but it really was just to get the community involved and raise awareness and have people understand that this is an issue and we're going to do what we can. We're 10 years old and we're going to do what we can to contribute and help and we felt we owed that to the river. River kids, all they want is clean water and that's why today they came here to the nation's capital telling lawmakers that they need to do something about that toxic algae bloom. It was inspirational. It was totally inspirational. They really made a difference. Well, with all the media attention we got and all the politicians and we got to meet president, uh, we got to, two presidents, we got to meet um, a lot of important people. Our river kids, they play a special role in protecting our waterways because unfortunately as adults, sometimes we listen better to the young people in our communities than we listen to the adults in our communities. And those young people, our river kids, they have a great voice. They turned the ship, they lit the match. They did, and they didn't even know it. It's all about the younger generation these days, and the youth is really so powerful. I think the youth was underestimated for a long time, and I think that anyone is capable of making huge changes. They just gotta put their mind to it. To be able to tell people at the Army Corps of Engineers and in other places in government about how much it matters that they actually work towards common sense policy and towards actually cleaning up Lake Okeechobee so that they don't get poisoned. This is not only our future, but the future generation's future, and children growing up in Stewart, um, they're really living in, in paradise, and it's important to keep it pristine and keep it healthy and growing and have it be a wonderful place filled with wonderful memories like I had when I was growing up.